Hi everybody, my name is Richard McMahon from the Paramedic Training website, becomeaparamedic.co.uk and in this training video I'm going to teach you how to pass your paramedic science degree interview and in particular I will give you a number of sample questions and also suggested answers to help you succeed. Now before I get into those, a very very warm welcome to this tutorial. As I say my name is Richard McMahon, I've been helping people like you for over 20 years now to successfully pass their interviews and in this video we're going to focus primarily on the paramedic science degree interview and like I say I'll give you suggested answers to the questions that I'm going to um, to provide you with during this tutorial. As always please do make sure you subscribe by clicking the red button below the video and if you do like the tutorial I would extremely be appreciated if you gave the video a like, if you hit the thumbs up button that always motivates me to do more. If you have any questions whatsoever about your paramedic science degree or becoming a paramedic in general please put them in the comments section below the video and I will be happy to assist you. Um, I spent over 16 years in the emergency services myself um, and I have a good understanding of the selection process and what it takes to pass. Okay, let's get straight into your paramedic science degree tutorial. Question number one, why do you want to become a paramedic? Now, even though you are being interviewed um, to attend the paramedic science degree, they will want to know why you want to become a paramedic. Now, there are a couple of tips that I'm going to give you um, before I give you the sample response. Here they are. So make sure in your answer you talk about the positive aspects of the paramedic role, and these include the chance that you have to make a difference, the ability to work with a highly professional team of people, and that's one of the best things that I found about working in the emergency services. Um, everybody you work with within the team is highly professional, and that gives you a great sense of job satisfaction. You will also have the opportunity to work within a diverse workforce, but also a diverse community. As you know, the community is diverse in nature, and that is only a positive thing for you to work within. And you also have the opportunity as a paramedic to, to, to continually learn new skills and of course obtain really good qualifications. And you are also working essentially in a job where no two days are the same. You know, so you have the variety of the job as well. So these are things to consider um, when you are answering the question, why do you want to become a paramedic? Now you will obviously have your own um, you know, the reasons for wanting to become a paramedic, but here is my answer to this question. I feel that I have the necessary qualities that are required in order to become a paramedic. Now, this is due to my previous roles as a first aider in the workplace and also as a plumber in my local community. I also have first-hand experience of working in a diverse team that is required to follow rules and procedures. Now, through hands-on experience, reading books and talking to operational frontline staff, I know there is a high level of job satisfaction when working as a paramedic. I like helping to make a difference to the people in the community at a time of their need and I enjoy interacting with the public and working in a customer service based role. I am enthusiastic, I am punctual, well disciplined and always strive for personal development and will enjoy undertaking a diverse role in a well disciplined and uniformed service working closely with other emergency services and support agencies like the St. John's Ambulance. Now, that response um, talks about working in the community. It gives them some skills and attributes that I have, which I believe would help me in the role. Now, with respect to talking to operational frontline staff, if you get the opportunity, um, I would make contact with your local ambulance station and see whether you can go along and talk to them. Now, obviously, they are extremely busy, but if you, know, if you don't ask, you don't get. So I would go along and speak to them to see whether they can talk to you about the job, what's involved, what's it like, the pros and cons of the job, you know, and also the skills and attributes required. Because then when you are answering that question, you can say, I visited my local ambulance station, I have spoke to the paramedics and the technicians there, and this is what they told me, and you can use that in your response. Next question of your paramedic science degree interview. Why have you chosen this university in particular? Now, you are pretty much guaranteed to get asked this question. Now, universities obviously want the best students, okay? They want you to pass. Now, you have to demonstrate in your answer that you are a model student and that you are determined to work hard and that you won't let them down and that you will pass 
the, um, the, the, the course to get the qualification. Now here's a tip, make sure you go along to the university open day if there is one, so you can then tell them as much as possible about the university. Now this demonstrates you genuinely want to attend their university, and it's not just because you want to become a paramedic, okay, because they want you to pass, but at the same time you, you know, you have to have considered carefully why you want to study at their university. Here is my sample suggested answer to the interview question, why have you chosen this university? I've considered carefully the university I want to study at in order to become a paramedic. I am at the stage in my life where I want to get things right first of all and it is vital I have the right environment in which to learn and study. Now having attended the university open day I was impressed with the welcome I received, the lecturers, their facilities and above all the environment in which I would get to learn, study and develop. I've chosen this university because I feel the standard of tuition I will receive will be outstanding and that means I will have every chance of succeeding and more importantly realizing my dream of becoming a paramedic so that's a well thought and considered response to that interview question for your paramedic science degree interview let's have a look at the next question how do you think you would react to incidents as a paramedic so if there is a paramedic there as part of the science degree interview, he or she is likely to ask you this question because you have to think carefully about this. I can remember attending many road traffic collisions, um, some quite distressing situations in my time working in the emergency services and you have to have a certain mindset and be prepared for these things. Okay, now it is important that paramedics remain calm at all times whilst attending emergency incidents. If they are calm, then as you understand, they are in control and they will therefore be able to perform their duties competently and professionally. Now, obviously, being able to remain calm comes with practice and experience, but you have to think about this. Remember, you turn up at an incident as a paramedic and there's people running around and they need your help. You are the one who has to be in control. Now, whilst attending incidents such as road traffic collisions, paramedics and other members of the emergency services usually carry out what's called a dynamic risk assessment. Now, in basic terms, the DRA, the dynamic risk assessment, is the management of risk through a continuous process of identifying the hazards, assessing the risk, taking action to eliminate or reduce them, and then monitoring and reviewing all the time in this rapidly changing environment. Now, it is the paramedic's responsibility to ensure that they and other people at the scene are safe. So there's a lot on your plate when you turn up to incidents. So patient care is obviously really important. You have to assess the needs of each of the casualties and provide the appropriate level of care. And that's your job as a paramedic. So I'm going to give you a sample response in a second. But those three things were like food for thought when you're responding to the question, how do you think you would react to incidents as a paramedic? So if you understand what the role is involved, sorry, what the role involves and the kind of work they do, then it's easier to answer that question. So here we go. First and foremost, I would remain calm at all times and remember to follow my training and operational procedures. I would always conduct a risk assessment to assess the situation and the safety of myself, my colleagues, the patient and the public would always be a priority at any incident I attended. I feel confident that by following my training, learning the operational procedures and working with other stakeholders such as police, fire service and the control centre, I would be able to handle any incident competently and professionally. So that answer demonstrates that you've really thought about it, you know, um, because you have to think about it, your mindset is important, but also being safe, the risk assessment and following your training and your operational procedures, those are really important too. Next question, give an example of where you've had to deal with someone in a potentially conflict situation, i.e. whether they're violent, drunk or angry. How did you attempt to take control of the situation? So as you know, paramedics are required to turn up at incidents where there, are, there, there could be potential conflict. So it's important they don't put themselves in danger because their safety is absolute priority. But let's say you were at that situation. Um, you have to give an example of when you've, you've dealt with something like that in your own personal life or, or at work. So when responding to this kind of situation, sorry, this kind of question, it's a behavioural one. What have you done in the past? And you would use situation, task, action, result. So you would structure your response by explaining what the situation was, what the task was that needed to be done, then what action you took, and then the result. So this kind of answer needs to be in depth. And you'll see that the answer that follows um, is quite lengthy, but I'm given a specific situation where I was in a, uh, a situation and I had to deal with it. Okay, so here we go. So just to recap, the question is, give an example of where you had to deal with someone in a potentially conflict situation, 
either they were violent, drunk or angry. And the key thing is to remain calm. Really, really important. Here we go. Whilst I was working in my current role as a customer service manager, I was faced with an angry customer. They were dissatisfied with the level of service they had received from the shop. Now, the customer had purchased a pair of shoes for his daughter's birthday, but when she went to open them on her birthday, she found they were both of a different size. Now, the shop assistant had made a genuine mistake, and they should have checked the shoe sizes before selling them to the gentleman. Now, unfortunately, when I tried to apologise for the error and offer a full refund along with a new pair of shoes, he refused to calm down and he continued to act in an aggressive manner. Now I knew that it was important for me to remain calm and not respond to this aggression. If I had responded in a similar aggressive manner, I would have been making the situation worse. So I decided to remain calm and talk to him in a mild-mannered voice, asking him politely not to shout. Now unfortunately, he didn't calm down. Instead, he began to swear and threaten me, suggesting the member of staff who'd made the mistake should be sacked And if I didn't sack them, I would be in trouble. I then decided at that point to give him a warning that if he didn't calm down, I would then call the police. He didn't listen to me, so I walked away from the confrontational situation and I telephoned the police. Now, as soon as he saw me call the police, he left the shop. Although he had left the shop, I still asked for the police to attend because of the threatening behaviour. So I believe it's important to provide an excellent level of service to our customers, but that does not mean you should accept any form of verbal or physical abuse. I would never respond aggressively to to any situation. Instead, I would always follow my training and inform the relevant authorities. So that is quite an extreme kind of scenario. Um, But you are showing that you're remaining calm and you're prepared to walk away from a situation. Now, as a paramedic, you, you know, you don't have that luxury, if you like, of walking away from every situation. And you would have to use, you'd have to be firm. You'd have to use open communication styles and remain calm at all times. You know, yes, you never put yourself or anyone in in, in danger. You don't, you know, you have to wait for the, you know, either the clearance of the police to go in there if it's a really dangerous situation, but you have to carry out that all important dynamic risk assessment to see whether the situation is safe. And if someone is becoming aggressive, um, then, you know, you have to utilize effective communication skills um, and open body technique to calm them down, okay, because it's in their interest that you are able to treat them. So when you respond to that question, make sure you use situation, task, action, result, and it's a comprehensive answer. Next question, why do you think you can successfully pass the paramedic science degree course? So mention the following four key areas in your answer to this question. Think about any historical successes you have had or any achievements in your life. Because you are there to learn and study, so say, because I'm there to learn to study, I'm not here to party or have a good time, I'm here for one reason, one reason only, to learn, study and pass. Next thing, you believe you understand how much work is involved and you have a plan for making sure you study well and you pass the course. And also because you have a deep passion for becoming a paramedic and you know this will only happen if you work hard. So here's my sample response to the interview question. Why do you think you can successfully pass the paramedic science degree course? Here we go. I believe I can pass for four main reasons. Firstly, I have a track record of achievement and previously studied hard for my GCSEs and A-levels. Secondly, this university is one that will give me every opportunity to succeed. Thirdly, I would be here solely to work hard and study. And Finally, I've wanted to become a paramedic for a long time and there is no way I'm going to let this opportunity sail by. I will work extremely hard for the duration of the course and make sure I put in the effort required in order to pass. Okay, so if you want more paramedic science degree interview questions and answers, I have a couple of resources available to you. So I've put three links in the description below this video. Um, First of all, you can go to my website, becomeaparamedic.co.uk, and you can find out more about the role. Um, The next thing is I have another website, which is called howtobecome.com. And I have a a, a guide which covers all of the paramedic interview questions and answers. Um, So if you go to that, click that link there, it will take you through and you can get a copy of that that guide. Um, It's great value. Um, The print version is um, $19.97 and that's $17.97 for the download. Or if you want some free training, if you go to my website, passmyinterview.com, you can go on here and you can get access, free 30 days access to my online interview training courses over 554 positive reviews on Trustpilot. Um, So those links are in the um, description below the video. Like I say, it's passmyinterview.com. 
Um, if you have any questions whatsoever about your paramedic science degree or becoming a paramedic in general, please stick them in the comments section below the video. Don't forget, like I say, to subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed those sample responses. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd very much appreciate that. And I wish you all the very best in your pursuit to becoming a paramedic. Thank you very much.